The first overflow patients have been moved to the field hospital at the Austin Convention Center downtown, with three patients being treated there this morning. Intensive care units in Central Texas are nearing capacity for the 200 beds set aside for COVID-19 patients. KXAN's Alyssa Gord spoke with an Austin physician who works in the ICU to ask what it's like behind those closed doors. I do work with a lot of heroes. I mean, all of the people in our ICU, the nurses, the physical therapists, respiratory therapists, the pharmacists, the other physicians, these people have all risen to an incredible challenge. For 10 months now, Dr. Shai Hayden has been caring for COVID-19 patients in the ICU at Del Seton Medical Center. Um, most of the patients we see in the ICU have what we call COVID pneumonia, meaning that the the virus has affected their lung and led to inflammation in their lung, making it difficult to breathe. On her shifts that can last 12 to 24 hours, she's treated patients young and old with coronavirus. It's emotionally and physically exhausting to take care of COVID patients. And Hayden has lost patients to the disease, with the youngest just 25 years old. What do you wish that people at home who are not in the hospital knew about what it's like for patients who are there right now? That it's bad, that it's bad and that, you know, the projections of numbers increasing and increasing exponentially is really frightening to all of us on the ground. She emphasizes for now, they still have the resources to take care of anyone who may need emergency care. And she is grateful for community members who send messages thanking healthcare heroes. I honestly think the best way to show support is to show that you understand the scope of the problem and make the sacrifices to stay home when you can to socially distance. Alyssa Gord, KXAN News.